Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to refactor the put mapping, which is updating the document. So let's begin. So let's go to this service interface and let's declare a new method, which is public. And this is going to return void. And I'm going to call this update to do. And of course, this is going to take two parameters. One is the document ID, which is of type string. And the second parameter is of course, the updated document so to do dto and i'm going to call this to do so this is going to throw us an exception to do collection exception and let's save this and inside this implementation class we are going to override that method so let me get rid of these comments and First, we have to retrieve the document. So we're going to make use of the repository method to do repo dot find by ID. And we're going to pass the ID. This is going to return an optional to do DTO. I'm going to call this to do with ID. And now we're going to check for the condition if to do with ID is present, then we know that we do have a object else we're going to throw a new exception to do collection exception to do collection exception dot not found exception and we're going to pass the id to it if we found an uh, if you found an object first we have to get that object so to do with id dot get and i'm going to store that in a variable to do dtvo i'm going to call this to do to update so inside this, we're going to update the, we're going to set the, set the values so to do, to update dot set to do, and we're going to set the to do, to do dot get to do, to do to update dot set description, to do dot get description, to do to update dot set completed to do dot get completed to do to update dot set updated at we're going to make use of the new date operator date constructor to this we're going to pass the system dot currently seconds and finally, we are going to call a repository method to do repo dot save, and we're going to pass the to do to update. All right, this is fine, but we're missing one piece of puzzle, which is what if the user is having a, if the user is trying to save a duplicate to do, like if the to do is already exist, and if the user is trying to update the record with already existing uh, to do okay so at the time also we have to check whether the to do is exist or not so for that again we are going to make use of this to do repo dot find by to do and we're going to pass the to do dot get to do and this is going to return an optional to do DTO and I'm going to call this to do with same name. So now if we found an 
like we are going to write this condition to do with id dot is present if it is present then also we are going to check for the to do existence so for that we are going to write a one more condition if to do with same name is present and to do with same name dot get we're going to get the object and we're going to check the id get id equals the id if it is not equal we're going to add a logical not operator then we're going to throw an exception throw new to do collection exception to do collection exception dot to do already exists this is dot fine okay so first we're going to get the object from the repo and we're going to check whether that object is present or not if the object is present then we're going to check whether the the to do is exist or not if the to do is exist then we're going to throw an exception if it is not then we're going to get the to do object and we're going to set the values to the to do object and we're going to save it in the database so let's save this and now we have to refactor the controller so let's go to the controller and we have this put mapping so now let me get rid of this if condition if else condition because we have moved this to our service layer so let me get rid of this so all we need to do is we have to make use of the service to call a service method let me add a try catch block so inside the try block we're going to make use of this to do service to call a service method which is update to do and we're going to pass the id as well as the to do and then we're going to return a response entity return new response entity let me send a message update to do with id and we're going to pass the id and we're going to send the http status to okay so inside the catch block if something goes wrong we're going to catch that exception and we're going to catch the exception which is constraint violation exception constraint violation exception and we're going to return new response entity get message http status dot unprocessable entity and we're going to catch one more exception which is to do collection exception return new response entity we're going to call a get message method and http status dot not found so let's save this so now we have refactored the put mapping request mapping as well so all we need to do is we have to test our work so let's go to the postman and first let's go to this read to do's and let's send this off and we do get this one response which is by vegetables so right now in the description we have this by fruits so let's change this to by vegetables itself okay so let's copy this id let's copy this and now let's go to this update to do and let me 
get rid of this and paste in let's go to the body and let me go to this read to do's and what I'll do is I'm going to change this description right so this is going to be a description by vegetables okay so for for this itself if I go ahead and send a request and we do get a uh, validation messages which is to do cannot be null and completed cannot be null we have to pass the completed and the to do as well so let's go to the to do's and let's take this to do and completed let me add a comma here so let's see what is there completed okay let me set this to true okay so now we have this buy vegetables and buy vegetables and completed let's go ahead and send this off and we can see to do updated to do with id that id and now if i go ahead and read the to do's and we do get buy vegetables buy vegetables and the completed which is set to true and you can see the updated at and created at which is fine all right so now we have refactored the put mapping which is updating the to do and in the next video we are going to work on the delete mapping and we're going to refactor it and we're going to finish off this refactoring code so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video